This is Anna Hoffman with Content Boomerang, and in this PowerPoint tutorial, I'll be showing my Content Boomerang students how to add color overlays to a slide. A color overlay is simply a layer of color, usually semi-transparent, that's used to emphasize or de-emphasize certain elements in a slide. There are many reasons and ways to use color overlays when designing a slide deck. For instance, you can use it to tone down a bright image, or to tie an image in with your brand colors, to emphasize text, to emphasize various slide elements, or even to make a slide more interesting. Technically, a color overlay is simply a shape added to the slide. Once the desired shape is added, you can play with the color, opacity, also called transparency, and placement. Here are step-by-step -step instructions on adding a color overlay to a slide. First of all, you're going to add a shape. From your Home tab, go to Shapes and pick a shape. And please, go simple and clean. Do not overdo this one. And then you can grab and drag a corner to adjust the size of the shape. In the next step, you're going to change color and opacity. There are several ways to do this, but only one of them, believe it or not, allows you to preview the color without having to save it first. That's the downside of PowerPoint. Whenever you edit a design element, whether it's a picture or a shape, you'll see the element-specific tab added to the right of the view tab. You can see it right here. When I highlight a picture, you'll see picture format. And if I select a shape, there's the shape format tab that appears to the left of the view tab. I'm sorry, to the right, my other left. Let me show you what the shape format tab looks like. As you can see, all the home tab options were replaced by various ways to edit shapes and text. And yes, you can make changes to your shape right from here, but trust me, there's a better way. Next, I'll want you to click on Format Pane icon, right there. And by the way, depending on what PowerPoint version you have, you might be able to simply double-click on the shape to open the Format Pane. Just give it a shot and see if it works. So once you get to Format Pane, that's where you should edit the shape. And here is how we're going to do it, just to sum it up. To edit an overlay or shape, in other words, first you'll click to select it. Then go to Shape Format. Then click on Format Pane. Oopsie, there it is. And then you can edit away to your heart's content. Well, actually, I kind of um, didn't mean what I just said. Because you can, of course, add all kinds of effects to your overlay, besides simply changing color. You can do texture, shadow, reflection, outlines, and so on and so forth. But please don't. Here's one of my favorite quotes to design by. Simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. Well said and did, and very simply put as well. In the last step, you are going to position your overlay. And to move an overlay to the desired location, simply grab, which means press and hold down the button of the mouse, then drag and drop, release the button, in other words. And that's it, Quantum Boomerangers. Now go add an overlay. Can't wait to see what you do with a simple but very effective way to set your slide deck apart from the rest. And if you're listening to this and you don't yet know what Content Boomerang is, you should definitely check it out. You might be pleasantly surprised to learn that the content you create doesn't actually have to rot in your archives, but could be put to work through content repurposing and continue to bring traffic and leads back to your business. I'm Anna Hoffman, and I'll see you in Content Boomerang.